guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing a tag that I got tagged in by the great Carrie Eats Plants. If you don't know, please go and check her channel out, she's absolutely amazing. So what it is, is the Get To Know Your Subscribers tag. So she's made 11 different questions, so without further ado, I'll just get straight into the questions. So, the first question is, what is your first name? Oh, let me think, I've got a bit of amnesia, so you all know that I've got a bit of brain fog half the time. But I do remember that one. My first name is Tommy, but really my Christian name is Thomas. So yes, Tofu, Tommy, or don't call me Thomas because I absolutely hate the name Thomas. <laughs> Number two, where were you born? Well, actually, as you all know, I am Scottish. I was actually born in Irvine, Ayrshire. That's where I was born. I grew up in Dolry, Ayrshire. I'm now in a new town, which I'm not going to divulge online, obviously. Just to friends, because you know all the trolls that we've got on here, guys. It's a bit toxic, to say the least. But yeah, I was born in Irvine, Ayrshire. Number three. Where do you live now? I actually live in Beeve, Barnell, Ayrshire, Scotland. So I'm Scottish through and through. I hope to one day travel a little bit and do a little bit of travelling, but I'll always be Scottish. Like I say, we'll never ever move from Scotland, but I hope to get some holidays in the future, get a bit of suntan in this white Scottish skin, like I say. We don't get any sunlight here, vitamin D out the window. If you know what I mean, so you've got to get that vegan diet in there to get the vitamin D in. Number four, what do you do for a living? I don't do anything for a living actually because I'm obviously registered disabled because of my eating disorder and all the damage done to my body. So yeah, what I do is I'm, a, I'm an activist for eating disorders. I do a lot of vegan activism with Save Movement Scotland. I make YouTube videos, obviously, because I'm looking into the camera and I'm speaking to you guys. I make YouTube videos. I make YouTube videos to try and educate people on eating disorders and obviously to help people transition to the vegan lifestyle. I'm also a group mentor in Challenge 22, which is a group mentoring ship to help people transition to the healing lifestyle over 22 days. So yeah, that's what I do. And I do a lot of things that obviously I look after my animals. I'm an animal lover. That's, that's, my, that's my life, basically, and spending great times with my wife, who's absolutely my world, and my dogs as well. That's, that's what I'm all about. Number five, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, as you all know, as, uh, if you haven't and you're just new to my channel, I was actually a semi-professional footballer with Scotland and also West Bromwich at Albion before I became ill with my eating disorder. My, my eating disorder started in 1997. I always wanted to be a footballer, that's something I always wanted to be. But if I were, couldn't be that, I always said that I would love to be something like a veterinary surgeon or working with some type of animals, which is something I would really look to, to do in the future, doing some kind of voluntary work with working with animals and maybe in a sanctuary or something like that. That was something I've always wanted to be. I know I, I, would, I would always like to be a singer, but I'm sorry, my lucid tones. We are the champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting. Till the end. So as you can all hear, I'm not likely to get my addition from the X Factor and my, my Simon Kill invite anytime shortly. So the singing's out the window. I'm not a great actor either, so I'm not going to get many of my movie roles that I really, really want. So and I always wanted to be a WWE wrestler, but I say I'm a big WWE fan if you don't know that. But I say I've got a lot of the t-shirts and things, obviously got the computer games and all that, and I've got a lot of DVDs on the wrestling. I always wanted to be a WWE wrestler, but I don't think I've got the quite body type for that. I've not got quite got the vegan gains yet, so that's that's out the window as well at the moment. So yeah, I think the footballing one was most likely to happen. <laughs> Number six, what are your hobbies or sports? Well, my hobbies obviously as well, as you can see here. In the background here, I've got a lot of sci-fi stuff, I'm a big sci-fi geek. Obviously as well, I love playing all my video games, I've got I'm a, I'm a Playstation 4 and I've got a, a virtual head, reality headset. So I've got the Turtles game that I love playing, obviously the, the VR headset, the Drive Club that you can see here. I've got the, the 2K wrestling one that I just showed you a minute ago there. And obviously as well, 
FIFA 17, you've got to have that as a big footballing fan. Obviously as well I love doing things, that obviously I love doing colouring, I, I do a lot of drawing and, and art, I love poetry, obviously I love watching movies, my, my animals and such like, so that's a, that's a big part of my hobby, obviously going and watching football, doing a lot of activism, like I say for Save Movement Scotland, that's my big, my big main thing in life, planting those seeds out to the vegan lifestyle, helping people transition to the vegan lifestyle, so that's, that's yeah, that's my main hobbies and interest definitely yeah but I see I'm a big sci-fi geek as you can well see uh, number seven where have you traveled oh let me think that as a semi-professional footballer obviously traveled all over England I went to Manchester I went to London I went to Amsterdam and Holland I obviously went to Belgium Ostend in Belgium I've actually been to Australia in the year 2000 visiting my family in Queensland Australia I've been to France a few times as well. I was at like uh, quite a few places in France. I can't quite remember, guys. My, my memory's a wee bit foggy, but yeah, I've travelled quite a bit. I would love to travel again, but it's obviously dependent on health and such likes. I'm expecting to be going to Australia this year, so we'll see how that goes as well. I would love to do a lot of things like some vegan campouts down in England that I would love to do in the future as well so yeah I've travelled a little bit but not much because of my eating disorder but I hope that all changes very very soon and I at least get out of Scotland for at least a week and get some sunshine for God's sake <laughs> number eight what movies do you watch over and over again well obviously as you can see Star Wars is a big one definitely that I've watched that over and over and over Top Gun is another one Obviously as well, all the Rocky movies, definitely watched all of them. Gladiator by Russell Crowe is another one I've watched often. Uh, what else? All the Marvel superhero video movies, there's that many to explain so I won't list them all. You know them all, The Hulk, Iron Man, Superman. As you can guess, I'm a, I'm a sci-fi geek, I've probably said that a little too often guys, but you know that only too well. As Carrie said often in my videos, you're just a big kid, Tommy. That's that's very very true, Carrie. I would love to be a superhero, but I don't think you, you get many tofu Tommy superheroes, do you? I don't know what he eats for the soup for the the kryptonite. What's that? So if he eats tofu, what's his kryptonite? Is it is it maybe a slab of steak? <laughs> so anyway, that's that question answered, guys. Number nine. This is a bit of a difficult one. When was the last time you peed outside? Oh, did I make myself vulnerable here and answer this one? I would actually say it was yesterday. <laughs> Is that a bit too much? I'm going for, going for the bus, I was busting for the toilet, so I went round the corner under a little shelter in the grass and just done a pee. <laughs> I just hope there wasn't any CCTV TV cameras watching around. I think it would be more a fright for them seeing my private parts in the Right, uh, so anyway, on to the next question, I think. <laughs> Number 10, did you ever smoke cigarettes? No, I've never smoked cigarettes. I just, well, I just hate it. Like I see, my mum and my dad used to smoke and things like that. Been brought up, I get around it. It was something I just really, really hated. I can always say I'm a straight edge vegan. I've never smoked, I've never drank. I've, something I've never, ever liked. But at the end of the day, if that's what people want to do, like I say, but I know a lot of people do like the vaping and such likes, but yeah, no, definitely not something I've ever wanted to do and nothing I have I have done as a semi-professional footballer and a fitness professional, as a personal trainer and such likes, I always never really wanted to divulge in anything like that, so no, definitely not, never smoked cigarettes, no. Number 11 and the last one, do you care if the toilet paper dispenses at the over the top or from the back. Now, this is this is a bit, I may sound a bit OCD here, but yeah, I definitely like it dispensing from the front. Maybe that sounds weird to you guys, but if you dispense it from the back, I feel it's very, very hard for me to actually comprehend and actually get the toilet roll out. So yeah, definitely from the front. That, that may sound a bit daft to all you guys, but yeah, Definitely from the front, like I say, I'm very OCD in that respect and it just, it's just a bit strange to me that, so if I see any toilet roll holder when I'm out and about or I'm in somebody's house, I've always got to change it to the front 
for some strange reason or other. Why I don't know, but that maybe sounds a bit daft, that's just me. But then again, I'm not the brightest of people, so <laughs> you're okay there, guys. So anyway, I've actually got to tag some people in this. So the f I think I'll tag three people. The first I would like to tag is Dawn to Dusk. If you haven't seen her, please go and check out her channel. The link will be in the description below. Number two, I would like to tag Vegan Warrior, who is also known at one time as this time around Vegan Life. She's absolutely amazing. Please go and check her channel out. Number three, I think I would like to tag one of my dear friends as well. Another one, I see these two of my dear friends already I tagged. My, my third one, I would like to tag to get her a bit out of her comfort zone. She does a lot of recipe videos. She's absolutely amazing. Is the Vegan Flamingo. So yeah, if you haven't checked her channel out, please go and check her channel out. She's our channel's all based upon helping new vegans and such like doing recipes and such like. So I would love to see her do something like this, see how her kind of response is and get a little, a little bit for the subscribers to know it a bit more. So yeah, that's the three I would like to tag guys. Thanks very much for Carrie for tagging me in this video. I really, really appreciate it. I would love if the guys that have tagged in this, please uh, get involved and also tag some of their people that they know. As always guys, remember the little guy at the end of the video says and I'm so glad to be back, I love you so so much, expect me to be on you now very very soon once I get the kind of internet up to speed and such likes, but as always, remember what the little guy at the end of the video says, sending you all love, keep turboing on, and I'll speak to you all very very soon, speak to you soon guys, love you so so much. Remember guys, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.